Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be November's BoxyCharm unboxing. However, it is going to be a little bit different. And the reason why is, normally I film these videos, I open up the box, and I kind of have a little bit of an idea of what's in there so I can use it on my face and give you my first impressions. But lately, you guys, as you could tell, I'm like a little late with this video this month, but I am really struggling with acne. I even have the camera a little further back this week. You're welcome. I put some makeup on today because I'm just like honestly uncomfortable with being on camera and my face is like as bad as it is. So you probably can't really tell that much. You can probably see it like a little bit, but my face is like terrible, you guys. It's just on like a level 10. Um, and I know people out there have worse acne and I don't have the worst, but it's pretty bad for what I'm used to. So I just wanted to feel better, put a little bit of makeup on, get a little cute, like my new earrings, paparazzi. A link is in the description down below if you do like my earrings. Let's jump in to the video. If you want to see what I got in the boxy charm box for November, then keep on watching. <laughs> Guys, I've been dying to open up this box, but I've been praying that my acne would go away so I can film it and it hasn't been, which is why I didn't post a video last week, but I don't want to wait anymore. It is what it is. Like everybody gets pimples. So I'm just doing this video as best I can. What I think I'm going to do is like if something like if there's eyeshadow in here or something like that, I'll probably just like do some swatches on my arm. Um, I got my paper towels handy. We got the alcohol spray. So... Let's pray for the best. So I had like a whole meltdown about a week ago because I actually started feeling like more heart palpitations. It was like a whole thing for me last week, but I think my body is adjusting to my medication. So I think that's what's going on. So bear with me, you guys, but I could not pass up November's boxy charm. This is like the one promised content that I have a month. So I am going to do it. This is what I'm seeing in the box this month. So let's see what the... Uh, theme of the box is Harvest. And all right, so it has the items on the back. Super cute. I'm loving the Thanksgiving fall vibes. All right, so the first thing in the box that I'm seeing is this. And this looks nice. I don't know what this is. It's all right. I'm not sure if I'm saying this correctly. I think it's pronounced Volition Beauty. And this is their Snow Mushroom Water Serum. Okay, so let's see. This is supposed to be ultra hydrating serum powered by superfood snow mushrooms to minimize the look of pores, leaf skin, visibly plumper and healthier looking. And I could definitely use that because I need all the hydration I can get, especially this time of year. Ooh, okay, it looks like this. So how do we open this? Oh, okay, so this looks like it's a dropper application. Applicator, sorry. That's really cool. I actually don't have anything that has this um, applicator. So when I pull it out, you can actually feel inside the bottle. There's like a stopper in there. So if you were to take this out and like maybe spill this over, I think it kind of saves a little bit of the product from just like spilling out right away. It will spill out, but I feel like it'll spill out a little bit slower. I don't know. That might just be me. But anyway, so you press down. And there is your serum. So let's try some on like the back of our hand. And let's just see what this is all about. Again, first impressions. I don't really know like how well this is going to be like on the back of my hand, but I think you get a pretty good idea. Okay, so first impressions. It actually is, does feel moisturizing. It's very thin and... It's a weird but like almost perfect combination between watery and oily. And it absorbed right in my skin. So as you can see, like there's nothing there. It's not wet anymore. It doesn't feel dry. It feels plump and soft. Pretty sure this is unscented as well because I don't smell anything at all. 
and it definitely did the job like my hand feels really nice i actually can't wait to use this on my face and definitely like my neck like i need something for all of that you guys so i'm really excited about this this is definitely a win i'm happy about that okay so this is okay i believe i picked this last month so this is the gimme brow and this is by benefit cosmetics and this is their Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. I've never used any other brow products other than like pencils. Like I don't use pomades. I've used tried using powders, but it's just not my thing. Um, it comes with like a paper. We're going to get rid of that. So like I said, this is from Benefit Cosmetics. This is their Gimme Brow Plus Volumizing Eyebrow Gel. This is a tinted eyebrow gel and it contains tiny microfibers that adhere to the skin and hairs, creating naturally looking fullness and definition. The custom tiny tapered brush provides easy mess proof application, proof fuller looking brows magically appear. So, and I believe I got this in the color. Oh, maybe there isn't a color. Does this have a freaking color or not? Anyway, if I do find the color that I got this in, like if this is actually, is this clear? I don't know. I feel like this has, yeah, this definitely has a tint to it. It's almost like a dark brown type of tint. Um, you could see like right there on the back of my hand, I kind of put it a little bit. So it definitely has a little bit of color to it. It is a dark colored um, eyebrow gel. So I do have some brows on so but I don't have do I have a mirror I don't have a mirror so let me just see if I can like see what this could do um, yeah it actually is filling in my eyebrows like the easier my routine can get the better because I don't have all this time in the morning actually like that I'm gonna have to like test this out and see like if it keeps your brows staying you like up all day or if I can actually just use this instead of actually filling in my eyebrows I want to see what that looks like so I am definitely excited about this it's definitely a product that I wouldn't normally go out and get myself and that's why I like this box because it just introduces me to stuff that I normally wouldn't pick up so I am very happy about that all right, let's go into the next item. This is the Jekka Black. Hmm. Never heard of this brand uh, before. So let's see what this is. This is the Jekka Black Liquid Corrector. Meet the perfect under eye brightener with disguises, I'm sorry, which disguises darkness and evens out skin tone. Lightweight formula creates natural glowing finish. So apparently this is a new product. All right, so right off the bat, first impressions, I'm just going to say, I don't know how much of this, this is also vegan and cruelty free, by the way, made in the UK. Um, I don't know how much of this you have to use during you know one application. I'm hoping it's very little because this is very small. And as you know, and if you don't know, BoxyCharm gives you five full-size products every month. And if this is a full-size product, that's really small. So I'm hoping that you only need very little so that this can go a long way. Okay, so it looks, I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. It looks like it has an orangey tint. And this is something that, again, like I was saying, you would only need very little of because when you have a bluish tint under your eyes like or maybe you have like a little bruise somewhere or something and you put this underneath I'm sorry underneath if you put this on top of that area it's supposed to kind of color correct it it might still look a little orange once you put your concealer over it it tends to just cancel out that blue color and it looks super bright and amazing so I do like that it feels really moisturizing so not only is it going to make your under eyes look brighter when you're finished with your makeup, but it's going to hydrate underneath your eyes. That actually feels really nice. Again, another product I never would have picked up for myself, but I am very excited about trying that. Okay, so we have, where's that paper? 
This is, I don't know exactly how to say this brand. So I'm just going to read it. I think it's 111, 111, I don't know. Skin Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Booster. So this is a hyaluronic acid aqua booster. It increases moisture levels by delivering a shot of concentrated hydrating ingredients into skin to combat both dryness and dehydration. So again, another skin product that I love trying hydrators because they just, are so needed in my routine you know this looks expensive this definitely looks expensive I haven't looked at the price yet but it has like some weight to it and I do like the whole dropper thing like look at that see the beginning of this video I didn't have any dropper things now I have two wow this looks like really like serum -y, you know like it doesn't look watery at all let's try putting some on this part of my skin since I put it on the back of my hand already on that side and let's just see how this feels okay this definitely feels more moisturizing than the first product that I had put on not that I'm comparing them together like for any reason I'm just saying like it's definitely more moisturizing like when I think of a serum this is what I think of Wow, it really uh, sank into my skin like pretty quickly and it left my skin feeling super plump, like super plump, not sticky and just really nice and soft. Wow. Okay, so I am really excited about this because this seems to be, I'm, I guarantee you this is probably expensive. That's the vibes that I'm getting. It feels expensive. That is uh, definitely a vibe that I'm getting. And even if it's not, I don't care. It feels really nice. Definitely moisturizing with the hyaluronic acid in it. So I'm really excited to put that all over my face and my neck. And hopefully it'll improve my skin, which is something that I'm really praying about, you guys. I have an appointment with a dermatologist next week. And he's somebody that I've seen before. He's a really good dermatologist. And I'm just really hoping... The last time I went to him, it wasn't for acne. It was actually something else. I've always had my acne pretty much under control. I stopped using Proactive like a few years ago, I think it was. And then my face like went completely haywire, just like it is now. So I started using the Proactive system again and it cleared my skin up. Um, so now I don't know what's wrong with my skin. <laughs> um, I think it's just all the hormones and like the changes in my body that I'm going through. So. Hopefully, I can use this in my skincare regimen and they give me something that can clear up my face because I literally can't take it anymore. All right, you guys, this is really interesting. This is cute. So I don't even know what this is, but it looks like a deck of cards. Like, look how freaking cute that is. Okay, where's the paper? I'm losing the paper all the time, you guys. This is from a brand called Half Caked and this is a Game Changer Lip Fondant Trio. What? These lip fondant liquid lipsticks go on with a feather light texture and dry and they dry completely matte. For the best wear, make sure lips are exfoliated and hydrated before applying. Okay, so you guys, I can actually probably use this uh, right now because I don't really have anything on my lips and they are pretty hydrated. I have like a little bit of like a lip gloss, but it's like, it's like barely there. All right, so let's open this up. This is vegan. It says it on the front. And I always like seeing that. Okay, how do I open this? The box is so nice. I almost don't want to like mess it up. Oh my God, the packaging is so freaking cute. Look at this. So freaking cute. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this. Look at this. Oh my God. I love packaging, you guys. Like, I know it's just the outside and it really shouldn't matter, but it does. When you're buying makeup, you want to have an experience, right? That's what it's about. So the first thing that you look at is the packaging. Like, if something looks cute, you're probably going to buy it over something that doesn't look cute. So first of all, let's talk about the shades. Okay, so we have three shades here. This one is called Bordeaux. So I'm first going to swatch it for you. Let's just swatch it right here so that you guys can see what it looks like. Wow. Okay, it's super pigmented. 
Um, and I really love that color. Wow, I didn't think I was gonna like it that much. This is like a perfect red. It's not really bright and it has like a little bit of brown in it as well. So it's, it's really pretty. I love that color, wow. All right, so this is called Bordeaux. Then we have this one, it's called Loki. That's a cute name. It's like a, like a reddish pink color. So this one happens, I feel like it's very pigmented, but it looks a little bit like the tiniest bit sheerer than the first one. But as you can see, if you look quickly, they look similar, but the second color here is a little bit more on the pink side. And this is them again, side by side. Like this one's a little bit more red. This one's a little bit more pink. So that one's low key. And then this is the last one. This is more of like a mauve pink color. It's called Theme Song. Wow, okay, so this is like a really nice mauve color. When I think of mauve, I think of that. So all the colors are like really nice. I like the color schemes. This is all definitely colors I would wear. I would probably wear this one the most theme song I would probably wear that one the most because it's probably the most neutral out of all of them but super cute especially for the holidays that are coming up Ooh, and they smell so good hold on wow yeah it smells like like a vanilla icing like it smells really good do they all smell like that yeah they all have like this vanilla icing smell to it which is a win. So I actually am just leaving it there to see if they dry down. I don't know. But anyway, since I can use one of these, let's see which one I should use. Sorry, the camera's shaking. I just like moved up. All right, so, hmm. All right, I, I think I'm definitely gonna put on the theme song one because I really like it. So this is not a makeup mirror. This is like, a mirror that I have for like for my candles, but it was the closest thing to me, so I'm just gonna use this. First impressions on putting it on. Uh it is really, really thin. I feel like like as you're putting it on, you may have to dip in twice because I don't have like the biggest lips in the world, but my lips aren't like super small either. So um, when I put this on, I felt like I had to dip in twice, which isn't a big deal at all. But if like, I always try to like spread it out and it did become like a little streaky, but as soon as I dipped back in and then went over it again, it filled in and it was fine. So, okay. So definitely a difference of application from my lips to my hand. Oh shit. Kyle is going to kill me. I just got this on one of our brand new comforters. We're not gonna tell them about that. On the back of my hand, as you can see, it's wet, right? It's smeared, it's not dried down. Perfect situation, right? So if you look at it though, like this one's almost dry, but there's like a wet spot here in the corner. This one still has a wet spot in the corner. But on my lips, it's completely dry. Completely dry, completely comfortable. I actually don't feel like I have anything on my lips, which is really cool doesn't feel sticky like I really like how this feels on my lips it passes the kiss test yeah nothing's really coming off so that's really cool I don't know you guys and I really do like this color I feel like it's neutral enough that I can wear it like whenever I can wear this to work I could wear this on a night out if I'm gonna go to a, like a bar or if I'm gonna go to a baby shower I can wear this and it's pretty neutral so I do like that I can't wait to try the other colors especially this freaking red color like this color is so nice. So I am in love. I think that's probably like one of my favorite things that came this month. Like I'm obsessed with it. All right. So let's go over what the total of the box was and how much money I actually saved. I just did a quick calculation with my phone. I'll 
like with the savings that I have on this box and I'm like shook okay I'm gonna tell you why so hoping I can remember like the numbers in my head so the the thing that I told you guys was expensive right it felt expensive I swear to god I'm reading this I actually didn't look at the price I was right. This alone, this was the Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Booster. This is $135. $135. Then we had this. This was the Volition Beauty, another like mushroom water type of serum. This was $62. That's still pretty damn expensive. Then we had the Benefit Cosmetics gimme brow and this was $24 then we had the half caked lip fondant trio and this was $32 and then we had the Jessica I want to say Jessica but it's not it's Jessica black liquid corrector and this was $15 so guys all together and I'm pretty sure I'm remembering the numbers correctly this box's total was $268. That was the most expensive box that I've ever got so far. And I only paid $25 to get that box. So altogether, I saved about $243 if I'm remembering correctly. So I'm really shook at this box and how expensive it was. Like even this alone, just getting this alone, I saved so much money. And I hope I don't love this because... There's no way I'm paying $135 for this. No way. Wow. I don't know, you guys. I know I always talk about, like, investing in your skincare and stuff, but I just, like, I never go for, like, something that expensive. I bought things that were, like, $60, $70, but, like, not like that. So I'm kind of excited to have that to see if maybe it'll make the difference. I don't know. Who knows? And not for nothing, these are, like, a really great size. And you get three of them for $32. I'm kind of shook about that. One of these would cost $24 somewhere in like Sephora or Ulta or something. So I'm really, really happy with the box this month. That is it, you guys, for the November BoxyCharm unboxing. Let me know what you got in your box. I know some people got Natasha Denona this month I was seeing. I try not to watch different videos because I want to be surprised with what I get in my box. I'm really hoping to... Uh, stay feeling the way I'm feeling, which I have been feeling a little better this week. Still a little dizzy, but my heart seems like it's more on track this week and I just feel better. So with that being said, I hope to see you guys this week again. I This is like the week before Thanksgiving that I'm filming this. So um, if I don't see you before Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Um, I know it's going to be a little difficult for some people um, because we all can't get together the way that we normally can, but try to enjoy even if you're staying at home. We don't know what we're going to do yet, but I don't know, you guys. I'm just trying to stay positive throughout all of this, and definitely BoxyCharm is helping me do that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please give this video a like, a comment about what other things you guys want me to film for you and subscribe subscribe to this channel so you can see more videos like this and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys okay i should get a thumbnail out of that typically i usually okay let's start this again volution no i think it's volition how do you say this? Volition? Wow. I'm trying to take it out and it does not come out that way. Okay, let me take off. Where's my makeup wipes? I have makeup wipes for this specific reason and now I can't find it. But of course, your girl forgot a mirror again. I always forget a mirror. Hold on one second. Alright, I gotta go. I'm overthinking this now.